Lesson number 20, Networking. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to analyze the rationale of networking computers in different locations and differentiate between wired and wireless networks. In previous lessons, we introduced the concept of networking when we discussed how computers are used in the office. We stated that computers are connected in networks with other devices for the purpose of sharing resources. In this lesson, we will discuss networking in a bit detailed way. Networking is simply sharing resources on a network. A computer network is a group of computers and devices that are connected together and have shared resources such as printers, internet connection, and files. Devices that can be connected to a network are laptops, smartphones, tablets, scanners, and other related devices. Now, let's discuss advantages and disadvantages of computer networks. We will start by discussing advantages. Computer networks reduce the cost of resources and devices. Through a computer network, one printer can be shared by many workers in an organization. The other advantage is that it provides an easier way of communicating with others. You can easily share resources like printers, scanners, information, software, and files. Computer networks also improve productivity through project collaboration. Lastly, if the computer network security is well configured, it can help to keep out hackers and viruses. Despite being helpful, computer networks have their bad side. Firstly, it is not easy to set up a network. You need to have some technical knowledge in order for you to connect computers and other devices. You also need to know how to control network activities, manage user accounts, find and fix network problems. Network devices are expensive to buy and viruses may spread to all devices if the security is not strong. The network may also be hacked. Lastly, users may waste work time surfing the internet and social media platforms. In order for you to understand the concept of wired and wireless networks, you have to understand how landline and mobile phones work. A landline phone uses installed cables to enable people to communicate, while a mobile phone uses radio waves. For now, you should understand radio waves as waves of sound that carry information. In the same way, computers can be connected to a network through wired or wireless connections. 
using special devices and cables. A wired network is a network connection that is made with physical cables. Devices such as printers and computers are connected using cables. There are specific cables that are used to make wired networks. These cables are called network cables. From computers and other devices in the network, cables are connected to the switch or router. A switch is a network device that connects all devices and other computers to a network while a router is a type of a switch that connects computer devices to a telephone line. Network cables have connectors on both ends. The function of the switch in a wired network is to connect all computers and devices together and to control communication among devices that are connected to the network. Without the switch, it would require a lot of cables and devices to have more than one port to complete network connections. Having discussed wired networks, let's talk about wireless networks. A wireless computer network does not require the use of network or data cables. It uses wireless devices. These are devices that use radio waves, microwave or infrared as communication medium. In this type of a network, a wireless switch or router is used as an access point. Note that most modern switches can be used for both wired and wireless networks. Through wireless networks such as Wi-Fi, we can connect laptops, mobile phones and tablets to the internet. Wi-Fi is a technology that allows devices to connect to the local network and the internet. Revision exercise A. What is a computer network? B. State the purpose of computer networks C. State four differences between wired and wireless networks D. Mention the device that connects all computers and other devices in the network
Summary In this lesson, you learned that the purpose of networking is to share resources such as computer systems, printers, files, and scanners. You also learned that network cables are used to connect devices in a wired network, while wireless networks require wireless devices to complete connections.